Hey, what's up YouTube's manager here. Today I'm doing my full review on the all new HP Pavilion 15.6 inch touchscreen laptop. All right, let's get started. In this video, we'll be kicking off another budget laptop review and this is the HP Pavilion 15-F010DX. This laptop features the Intel Core i3-4010U clocked at 1.7 gigahertz, four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, a 15.6 inch WLED backlit high definition touchscreen display with a resolution of 1366 by 768. For your storage, you got a spacious 500 gigabyte hard drive running at 5400 RPM. For your graphics, you got the standard Intel HD Graphics 4400. The operating system is Windows 8.1 and the retail price is $379.99 US. Yes, the price is a little bit higher compared to the previous budget laptops I reviewed like the HP Stream 11 and the Asus X205TA. But this HP laptop, you get a significantly faster Intel Core i3, 4 gigabytes of RAM that is also expandable, a touchscreen panel, and you get a DVD drive, which is pretty rare nowadays. Many of these budget laptops are constantly changing in Best Buy's inventory system. I'll try to keep the description updated with the model that is most similar to this one that I reviewed. Now let's talk about design and build quality. This laptop features a black plastic finish with an HP logo on top. Oh by the way, the weight comes in at 5.1 pounds and measures 0.9 inches thick. On the interior you got a full size keyboard with a 10 key numeric keypad as well as a Synaptics trackpad. The overall design and build quality of this HP Pavilion laptop is fairly good considering its price range. For the ports on the left side, you got your AC charging port, Kensington security slot, gigabit ethernet port, exhaust port for your fans, full size HDMI port, two USB 3.0 ports, and an SD card reader. On the right side, you got your DVD drive, USB 2.0 port, headset microphone jack combo, hard disk status indicator, and your power status indicator. Since this is a budget laptop, we're gonna test out the keyboard and display flex. The overall keyboard flex is pretty good with the exception of the middle section which dives in a little bit further. Display flex feels a bit more flimsy, however it's not to the point where it feels like it's going to break. And the last test I'm going to perform is touchscreen flex where I'm going to tap on the display a couple of times. As you can see here, the display is a little bit wiggly, however just lightly touch the touchscreen to avoid that. For your display, you got a 15.6 inch LED backlit high definition touchscreen display with a resolution of 1366 by 768 with that kind of resolution on a 15.6 inch display, some of the text does look a little bit blurry. And with this panel, you can expect average color accuracy and average contrast ratios. On my Spider 4 Pro test, I got a score of 64% for the Adobe sRGB. And for the Adobe RGB, this panel registered 48%. The Intel Core i3-4010U is a dual core processor clocked at 1.7 GHz. This CPU can handle many of today's tasks with ease. For example, Microsoft Office, web browsing, 1080p Netflix videos ran without any hiccups. For many students that need to run third-party programs, rest assured, as the Intel Core i3 can handle many of today's applications without a problem. And to back that up, let's go and take a look at the 64-bit version of Geekbench 3. For the single-core score, I got 1,717, and for the multi-core score, I got 3,622. And for Cinebench R15, I got a CPU score of 172 CB. The integrated graphics featured on this laptop is the Intel HD 4400. For the benchmarks on the Intel HD 4400, we're going to use 3D Mark, the Advanced Edition. For Firestrike, I got a score of 489. For Skydiver, came in at 2,191. For Cloudgate, I got a score of 3,418. And for Ice Storm Extreme, I got a score of 23,606. With these kind of scores, you can expect to play many of today's light duty games like FIFA 14, Diablo 3, Minecraft, and League of Legends, for example. Next up, we have a demo of Minecraft running on this laptop. Here are the settings that I used. Right now we're averaging around 45 to 55 frames per second. As you can see here, this game is running buttery smooth without any plugins like Optifine installed. During intense action scenes, the lowest frames per second I saw was around 30 to 35. For $379.99 US, you get a good solid laptop that can run Minecraft and other light duty games as well. The touchscreen performance on this HP Pavilion laptop has been very impressive. And if you're like most users, running Windows 8.1 with a touchscreen makes it more of an enjoyable experience. Scrolling and multi-touch gestures have been very responsive. Overall, I've been highly satisfied with the touchscreen panel. Now the trackpad is a whole different story. Let me give you a demo right here. Let me scroll down. As you can see here, some of my two finger scrolls will not register. See, look at this. It's not even responding. It can be frustrating sometimes. I just wish HP put a better trackpad in this laptop. Thankfully, you can use the touchscreen or a mouse. Keyboard performance was fair. The key travel was good, but the tactile feedback response from these keys were poor. But what do you expect from a budget laptop? With that being said, the longer I had this keyboard, the more comfortable I got with it. And here's your demo of the key travel in action. 
As you can see, the key travel is good. Next up is battery performance. This laptop features a 3 cell battery pack. On average, I'm able to get around 4 to 5 hours out of a full charge with screen brightness at around 65%. For your storage and operating system, you get a 500GB hard drive running at 5400 RPM. And to test the performance, we're going to use Crystal Dismart. For the sequential read speed, I got a score of 113.8 megabytes a second. And for the sequential write speed, I got a score of 112.8 megabytes a second. With these kind of scores, you can expect average performance from a traditional 5400 RPM hard drive. After installing a couple of benchmarking software and games, you're left with about 421 gigabytes of usable space. Next up is temperature control. After playing Minecraft for about an hour, the highest temperature I got was around 65 degrees Celsius. The dual core i3 processor, as well as the internal fans, did an excellent job of keeping this laptop cool. Speaking of fan noise, the fans were fairly quiet for the most part, however, once you got the CPU going, you could definitely hear the fans running. It's a little on the loud side, but not too bothersome. The sound quality from these two top facing speakers were about average. I just wish it had a little bit more bass from the lower end. HP made it so easy to upgrade your RAM and wireless card, even your grandma could do it. Just simply remove these two screws and pop the cover off and boom, you're done. But accessing the hard drive is another story. You would have to take all the screws off the bottom cover and force the lid out in order to access the hard drive. The performance from the Realtek 802.11n wireless card has been solid. I have not experienced any hiccups or connection issues. Overall, great wireless card. If you're looking for a solid laptop for school or productivity work for under $400 US, then you gotta check out this HP Pavilion laptop. You get a highly responsive touchscreen panel, a solid Intel Core i3 processor, expandable RAM, and a removable battery pack. The only downsides to this laptop was the trackpad. Like I said earlier, with Best Buy's inventory system constantly changing with these budget laptops, I'll try to keep the description updated with the model most comparable to this one. Alright guys, this completes my full review on the all new HP Pavilion 15.6 inch touchscreen laptop. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to be notified of the latest videos just like this one. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.